Who is Everyone it? loves Stuart. Everyone. I'm, I'm very flattered. That's lovely, mate. And that's why we're going out on tour together, hold each other's hands. So, do you go back a long way? I mean, it went, do, you, do you remember when you first met? Do you remember the occasion? Can't remember those I days. remember, oh, of you course, can. because I was uh, playing in LA and Rob was there, and I was like, oh my God, Rod Stewart's here. Oh my God, hi. Where were you playing? Uh, somewhere in LA. It was like one of those. It must have been about 83 or 84. It was like one that we were just bubbling. No, maybe it was earlier than that. Whiskey? Whiskey going Some place in LA. It wasn't massive, but it was like big for us. Can I show you a little picture? If I've got a little picture here, can you have a look at this one? And tell me if, if either of you remember this occasion. Yeah, I do, yeah. That was at the wow. Motown the celebration. Was it, how many years of Motown was it? It was one of those big things. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So, how, so when, when, when's this? It was in the 80s. I remember like you did Dock of the Bay. I had a yellow suit on. And I sang with like Luther Vandross and Stevie yeah. Wonder, which is the most terrifying thing yeah. I've ever done. Name dropping, do you hear them? No, that, I remember Awful. that show. Aretha was on it, I think, as well. Yeah, and he was amazing. Yeah, I sang Dock of the Bay in a bright yellow suit. Wow. Brilliant. And now, George, you get to share the stage. Me too, yeah. Pretty much. We're yeah. going to try and do a song together if we've got time to work one out. I was thinking, the first thing people are going to think, seeing you sitting together, will you be singing together? Yeah, of course we will, yeah. yeah I'd yeah, say, yeah. He, he's going to come out and do sailing with me, and I'm going to do Come and Come a Chameleon. Dress as a, I'm going to come out dressed as a sailor. <laughs> oh, it won't be the first time. <laughs> have, you, have you worked out what song you would sing? No, we've got plenty of time to do it, though. We will. Okay. Time. Is there something that springs to mind? Give, it, give us some thoughts. What, what? what don't you do on stage? Because you've got so many amazing songs. What yeah. don't you do? Cause, like, well, you tell me one you know, and then we'll, we'll fit it I'm in. I'm going to be outraged as the Killing of George is one of my favorite songs. Killing of George, we do that. You want to sing that with me? I'd love to sing it with you. Can you can do the do 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 Oh, that'd be great. You can join the girls, and it'll be, that'd be truly that wonderful. Song. Well, that song is an amazing song. It's it an is, incredible yeah. song, isn't it? And I know, George, that it has particular resonance for you. Do you. Can you tell the story? My mum bought it for me when I was uh, a kid and she put it in my sock drawer in a brown paper bag to let me know she knew what was going on. Me, <laughs> just explain that a little bit. Well, she used to say I was theatrical, you know, highly strong and theatrical. So it was her way of saying, I know what you are, I love you, is a great song. And of course, I love that song, so that's a very powerful song. Round of applause for mum. Yeah. Well done, mum. Let me tell you something about that song, which is most gratifying is, you know, now, through the years, guys have come up to me and when they were younger and said, like you, said, thank you for writing that song because I was in a dark place and it got me through that period, you know. I was, was unsure of my sexuality and that got me through. So, lovely, even though the BBC banned it. I didn't know that. Yeah, they did, yeah. They that didn't work. <laughs> on, what, on what grounds? Why was it banned? It was about homosexuality. No one had ever written about that and I mentioned the word gay. You lost your mum recently. I did, yeah. And given that, you're going to be on stage with Rod Stewart. I'm, th all these things are going to be very large in your mind, aren't they? My mum would have loved to have been there. <laughs> so where she is, she's looking down on you. <clears throat> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. My mum was a big fan. So. Very special times. Culture Club. Were you a fan of Culture Club? Oh, who isn't? Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. He just broke through down so many barriers when he came along. The way he was dressed, the hats, the, the everything. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I was a 70s kid, you see. The 70s is when I discovered music. So when people say the 80s, I was like, no, the 70s. Yeah. The 70s was everything. Glam rock, punk rock, reggae music. The 70s was the most interesting decade and sort of set us up for the 80s. But it was all about the 70s. Yeah, radical change in the 70s and the, and the late 60s as well. Everything changed. One way or another over the years. That's a good song. What? One way hey, or another, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get you. you. I'm gonna get you, get, get you, get you, get you, get you one way. If I set you up with a line each time, will you sing? Yeah, will you do it that way? Let me rephrase that then. Over the years, the, both of you have, have led big lives and often under the spotlight. It's slightly in different eras. Do you ever compare notes about how things have been for you, about publicity and people, you know, and how you've been treated? No, I think if people are talking about you, that's great. <laughs> yeah, it is, you know. I, really? I think if you're in, this, yeah. in the entertainment game and you're out in the public, then you're fair game. You know, if, you know that's it. photographers don't particularly worry me as long as they don't pry on my privacy. I think the trick is to enjoy being who you are. You know, it takes years sometimes to get to that point where you go, 
I love being Ron Stewart. I'm not, but yeah. I'd love to be. And Boy George, I love being Boy George. And I love going on stage and being the best version of myself I can be. And, you know, here, here. Warming so, up for someone that I, you know, say respect. You're not warming up, mate. Don't you worry about it. You're not warming up for But, you know, me. the thing is, Rod's a great singer. He's a great singer. He's an amazing singer. He is. On the subject of amazing voices, yeah. I did want to ask you about Tina Turner. The tributes that came in, it was literally a who's who yeah. of music, wasn't it, of, 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 of people who paid tribute to her. That, that on-stage persona that people will know from the performances, did you, you know, everyone says they learnt stuff watching her. Was that true for you as well? I think everybody's picked up something from her. Um, her timing was impeccable. You know, you get singers who will think they can sing, but they don't sing quite in the pocket. You know what I mean, don't you? Loose. She sang yeah. loose, baby. Whoa. Just tremendous. And on, just so people understand, you, you did live duets with Tina Turner. Mm. What's that like? What was that well, like? Well, it was, it was stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? And I'll say that as if Rod's not here, that, how do I say this delicately? Rock stars are performing into incredible ages now. Mm, good. I, I actually don't know off the top of my head how old you are, Rod, but it's amazing. Yeah. You would have thought it might be over by now. You might have stopped performing live. Well, well I am I actually stopping. Are you well? Yeah, this is um, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not retiring, but I want to move on to, you know, you know, I had great success with the great American songbook, All American Standards, and I've just done a swing album with Jules Holland which is going to come out next year. So well, I want to go in that direction. So I just want to leave all the rock and roll stuff behind for a while, maybe. So no more rock and roll? No. OK. Does that mean, what about live performances? And yeah, they're, they're no more. Special occasion, maybe, just like Elton. Elton said last night, I'll probably do the odd gig, but no more touring with rock and roll. <laughs> Some people were hearing you say that, no more rock and roll. They'll be thinking, no more Rod Stewart singing, you know, those songs that we know so well. Yeah. Hot Legs and all those things. They'll, they'll be like, there's that kind of an end of an era. Everything has to come to an end sooner or later. So we're in a good place with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to doing something else, you know, especially singing with Jules, his band. It borders on rock and roll anyway. It's just not Maggie May and you think I'm sexy, you know. Uh, it's been an absolute <laughs> delight Cheers, mate. talking Thank to you. both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice socks. I, I, you still haven't told me what socks you were wearing. I honestly, I actually genuinely can't remember. But the thing about those two was...